draft to write, and I will have the draft done sometime late today, and we'll be expecting to share that um, probably tonight or in the morning. For those of you that are interested, tomorrow is the training from Brewstein for the Uniform Grant Guidelines and Perkins, and you should have someone from your campus attending those sessions here at the system office. So I will be in those tomorrow morning and um, we'll be back in the office actually answering the phone and doing things on Friday. So I appreciate your patience while my schedule has been a little bit uh, unusual. We have had many, many, many meetings for the registered apprenticeship program in March. Um, I had the last meeting yesterday. Uh, we now have four campuses that have joined together. Um, Arapaho, it looks like, is joining us uh, for this initiative. We're really excited that they're joining with Aurora, uh, Denver, and Pueblo. We're working with our industry partners, a lot of workforce partners, and now some community-based organizations. So I am really, really excited to see that this is going to be a really great proposal. We haven't had um, any negative word yet from reviewers who've read. A couple people have read. I'll let you know as they tell me, nope, can't do that. Nope, don't, don't need this. The grants handbook, let me remind you, um, we do really need to have uh, drafts by mid-May, and I know that's pushing and pushing. We may or may not make that, but let me tell you, we've been working on this, and here's what's happening. We are, for sure, going to roll this out starting July the 1st. Um, Casey and I met with the ladies from um, finance on uh, Monday, and it is for certain that this is going to happen. So this is a review of your handbook, and you will need that as we move forward and begin to roll out the use of the grants banner module. The adoption will be July the 1st. Um, our provost will be sharing this information with presidents soon. The controller will be sharing this with campus controllers. I am sharing this with you. Our role in this as grant folks is to enter uh, proposal information as proposals are developed and submitted. You'll be doing this on your campuses, and once that information is loaded, it becomes the base for the accounting that is needed for awards that you receive. Your training for how to do this will happen in June and July. I'm envisioning this to be on site at your campuses and your trainer will be yours truly. So I am so excited because I get to come and visit with you again. Um, I think that is a great opportunity for all of us uh, I understand that this is not real difficult, and uh, I will tell you more when I know more. There are some trainings that I will have that I can share with you that are online, and there is other information, including documentation. So we'll be doing that this summer, and hopefully uh, we'll get this to roll out easily. When you uh, hear from me, if there are certain dates that don't work for you or you know you're going to be on vacation with your family or taking a good, long, and well-deserved rest, I'll schedule around that as best I can. Um, I can tell you that the last week of June and the first week of July are probably not going to happen because I'll be in San Francisco. But other than that, um, I'll try to work within your schedule. So please help me out when I... I try to set up these meetings for you. The registered apprenticeship grant, we are using the sectors. We have added first responders, um, which in our case uh, means EMT folks and firemen. We're excited about that. We're excited about the partnerships. You'll hear more about this as we go on. Again, the tenants have changed a little bit. We are adding an upskilling center 
and that is for the use of incumbent workers who want to improve their skills and enhance uh, their workplace capabilities in hopes of either moving up a career ladder, moving across a lattice, or getting a promotion. So we're excited about that possibility and uh, we'll share more about it as we know uh, more. Grants due in May if you have free time and you would like to write, here are some opportunities. I have some for June. I can tell you that the first week of May we expect a release of the application from the Colorado State Library that I will ask all of you, could you please send me the name of your campus head librarian? I'm going to see if we can pull these folks together with us to see if there is potential to secure some additional funding for the learning resource centers on your campuses. Um, I am hopeful uh, that this is a possibility. They don't have to join in, but the more the the more the better, and we'd like to have that conversation. So if you could help me by sharing that information, that would be useful to me. Um, here's what we're working on. I'm looking right now at this list. It has changed a little bit. Um, the Health and Human Services folks have an opportunity on the street, which is due at the end of May. Uh, we're looking at that and meeting with nurses, uh, nursing directors tomorrow. I think that after Casey and I meet with them, we will have a better sense of how this particular opportunity may fit into the landscape. I can tell you that right now, um, healthcare and training of health professionals has risen to the top of my next concern area. Um, I have been reading Title V of the Affordable Care Act which speaks to the need for additional folks who are trained to take care of individuals uh, who are either ill or have chronic uh, ailments and need assistance. The rules have changed and by 2020 they will be significantly different uh, than they are today. It impacts those of you who have health care and health sciences preparation programs and there will be a fair amount of money uh, from HHS to address these needs. So we're going to be looking at them in an attempt to see how they fit within the training and educational programs that you offer on your campuses and ways in which we might build capacity and expand offerings. Um, this will include not only uh, new folks in the healthcare professions and occupations, but also those individuals who need to upskill or enhance their credentials. It's a complicated process. It's a complicated requirement from the federal government for these licensed folks, but in order to respond by the impending deadline in four or five years, we need to start now. So I've got that on the radar high on the list. We will be doing a National Science Foundation proposal in early September, and we will start working on that in May. So you'll probably be hearing more about that as we uh, move that forward, and uh, you'll have an opportunity to consider that possibility on your campuses with your campus leadership team and your faculty in those areas. <coughs> I don't have much information about it right now, but as I get that information, we'll share. We're hoping that the Department of Labor has money for Tax 5. Um, they are definitely interested in a little more work, uh, but they have no cash. So right now we're just sitting and waiting and seeing if they can find some. Um, we will start in late summer on the USDA project. So those of you that have agricultural sciences and related programs, that have expressed interest, please know I have not forgotten you. I am waiting for all of the events here to uh, wrap up and then we'll come back when the high schools and the campus faculty are ready and we'll start working on that. Um, Bill and Melinda Gates are asking us for some work. Uh, we're still looking at developmental education and equity. So if I call and ask you about this on your campuses, uh, let me know because this is happening and this is a request that comes from 
our leadership team here at the system office and one for which a response will be uh, forthcoming. Um, investing in Innovation Fund is the big I-3 proposal that comes from the uh, United States Department of Education. I have a meeting on Friday with one of our four-year partners that is interested in this. So we'll see uh, how that goes. Uh, other things not changing so much, but just so you, you know they're not slipping from from the list. Uh, the HSI applications should be out if they're not out already. And if you are eligible to apply for Title III or Title V, that is something that I would see as a good plan if your campus leadership is interested in pursuing that particular opportunity. Uh, they don't come out every year, so when they do, it's good to take advantage. Um, the consortium grant, we definitely are looking at these three as consortium proposals. So you will get invitations uh, or notification that we have uh, made a shift in our priorities. But we will be making those decisions probably within the next two weeks. So stay tuned for those. Um, no changes on these. Although I, I do have a couple of others I'm looking at, we have not made the budget for the grant support office here at the system for next year yet, but as we move into that process, you may see some movement here depending on how much uh, money we can successfully procure for that. Um, tech Hire, I have a little update. I've made a connection with someone who actually is working on that here in our state. Um, they have no money either, but we both are expecting that there will be some funding opportunities late this calendar year, and we want to jump on those as soon as that's uh, possible. They are well aware, apparently word is out in the state that community colleges are moving forward for things like apprenticeships and tech hire and IT training and related areas, we want to be sure that that message is consistent and is uh, continual. I think that it is out there. Everybody I know is saying this, and now they're starting to tell each other. So thank you for sharing that good work, because I'm excited to, to know that we're in the forefront here. Uh, tech hire is a big initiative. There should be a fair amount of money for this. And we are watching carefully. As soon as we know, you'll know. Our next meeting is May 13th. Um, it has been suggested that because it's near the end of the year, we may take a month off. I am thinking we will not meet in July unless your hearts would be broken. Um, I would like to suggest that we not meet in July and that we come back perhaps in August and do some strategic planning as a group for how we're going to proceed in the following academic year. So if you would ponder that idea and let me know, um, to me it seems reasonable that uh, I will have been here a year and most of you then will have been a year at least in your capacities and together we should be able to have some good conversation about what are we doing and how are we moving everyone forward with more resources? Um, just one more reminder for the report. Um, I need that report here pretty soon. The cutoff date of March 31st. Um, I have to get the report done for the provost for the board meeting next month. So I, I need your help to make sure that we get that to happen. Questions? I know I talk really fast and I talk a lot, but uh, I just wanted to get through this and ask, do you have questions? So, so Sylvia, are you, is the system working on a first in the world proposal? Uh, yeah, we will. Okay. We will. It, I can tell you that it has to do with um, Concurrent enrollment, it has to do with apprenticeships, and it has a research bent. Everything for First in the World needs to have some research in it, 
And without that, I'm not seeing that they're getting funded. So we're moving down that pathway. We do have a one page uh, description of what we think we're going to do. Um, I think we probably will open the base camp for that and post that initial information. Um, it's not a large program um, and it is a short one. I think it runs a max of four years and is $3 million. So it's truly research and not uh, money to do a lot of programming. But yeah, we are definitely looking at that. Um, in fact, uh, we've had a couple meetings here to see if that makes sense. So yeah, we're going to do it. Other questions? Yeah, I'm going to ask another one. You, you flipped past the slide that showed the uh, grants uh, management and grant search software and without saying anything? Is there anything going on with that? I'm looking at the costing and seeing if we can get better costing um, than I'm getting so far. They're not as flexible as they need to be. And okay. I can tell you the Canadian firm, I got pushback unbelievable by uh -huh. Canada. And I'm not, I'm not doing anything sneaky about creeping across the border to do it. So I know. I'm, I'm not going to do it. Um, Janelle had a really great uh, source for data that she shared with us last week. And I am looking at that because I think that the more we move into labor type work and the more we move into uh, higher levels of accountability, we need more data. And I'm looking at that as well um, as a possibility for the system. It's pricey. But if everyone had access and could use it, I think we get enough money, we might be able to justify that. So I am looking at that one particular area as well. But that's why there's no movement. They want all this money. And uh, one company had the nerve to tell me that they were so good that they didn't see why I wouldn't buy five-year subscriptions for everybody. <laughs> And that was like $100,000. And I said, well, that would be wonderful. Um, which lottery have I won? <laughs> so um, they think that there's, the material is really, really good and it is really expensive. The problem is I don't agree with them. And I don't have the money to pay for it. So it's not going to happen. But I am not, I have not dropped it. But, you know, these places say, well, you'll bring in more money. And I'm thinking, you know, we have an awful lot of money as it is, and we're all working a, an awful lot, so how much more do we need? Right. You know, I mean, I understand they're trying to sell it, but on the other hand, collectively, the colleges and the system have over 350 grant programs this year for $120 million. That's not bad for probably eight people, given that many of you are part-time and have other responsibilities. I think that's pretty good for eight people. Other questions? Um, have I scared you all to pieces? Um, What's happening at some of the schools? I haven't talked to some of you for a while. Who all is on here? Can we tell who's here? Can you hear me? I can. I don't know who you are. Okay. I can hear, I can <laughs> this is you. Carol. Oh, hi, Carol. I can hear you. Good. I didn't know because I'm using the computer and I wasn't sure I was connected. I could hear oh, you, okay. but I Okay. Um, um, Sylvia, I was going to ask you because the, when you ask for the report, do you have actually a preferred format? Because the one I've been using is one that I think Kristen Katea had created a long time ago. I'll and I don't know if that's the way that you wanted the information. I'll take it any way I can get it. And that form that Kristen uses is wonderful. Okay. So please use that form. 
once we get banner rolled out in another year, it may be that you don't have to submit anything, that I can pull the report from banner. But at this point, her, her form is wonderful. And please use it, but I'll take it. A couple of people send me emails. Some folks have their own spreadsheets. Um, I'm an equal opportunity data gather upper at this point. So please, whatever way works for you, and don't do anything special or extra for me. I think we're fine. All right. Well, I already sent you the the report from Front Range. That's good. I like this. I'll be um, looking at these probably Friday morning to see what I have and how they're looking. I have uh, received several of them, and I've read some of them, but not all of them. So okay. I, I appreciate that because, you know, I need bedtime reading. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else? Shannon, um, we don't, I don't know you, Shannon. Can you help me? Where are you and what is it you do? I'm from TSJC. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. and I, I I assist Carrie in some of the grants, and so she was not, I don't know if she was able to make today, so I'm sitting, I'm filling in for her. Perfect. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Um, let's see, who else? David, how are you? You're in for Janelle? I am in for Janelle today. How is she doing? She's well, swamped. <laughs> I know, I'm partly to blame. It's my fault. Glad to have you here, though. Sure. <laughs> um, I don't know. Who else is here? Anybody else? Can you tell me who all is here just because I'm curious and calling numbers doesn't help me much? Um, hey, Sylvia, it's Kristen from Red Rocks. I'm here. Hi, Kristen. I'm still looking for bricks and mortar money for you. I love you for that. Thank you. Anytime. Who else is here? Mm -hmm. Marsha from CCD. I know, thank God. You know, we're having too much fun, Marsha. I know. I know. Um, Donna, are you here? Let's see, who else? I don't know who else is here. And Casey may be with us. I know her schedule is packed as well. And our board is meeting today upstairs, so there's a lot going on. Um, let me think, who else is here? I have someone from uh, Otero. That's wonderful. Glad to see you with us, Audrey. Thank do you. We have, do um, we have? Yeah. Oops. Well, okay. Just like background. I don't know. I don't know who that is. Uh, Mike is not with us today, so I don't know who it is. <laughs> he, he's in the car somewhere. Is someone here from Lamar? No? And Su Susanna, are you here? We had gotten an email that you might be around today, but in Denver on a borrowed computer. And otherwise, I think we're good. Um, Tammy is here. So, Sylvia, I was going to ask you uh, this proposed uh, consortium grant for the NSF EHR. What yes. is the theme of, of that I'm, grant? I'm sorry, I don't know, Carol. Um, it's supposed to come from Nanslo from PJ Bennett, and I have asked him for an overview of what he has in mind. And he, that is due to me uh, the first week of May. So I, okay. can't, I can't tell you, but I know as soon as I have it, I will share it. Uh, I know he's had a lot of uh, good thoughts, but I haven't seen anything written yet. So I don't okay. know. I know of um, a researcher at CSU who submitted a proposal to NSF to study uh, the math outcomes at community colleges. Now, oh, I have no idea who he was, they were partnering with, and I can get that information, but they okay. were told to resub, they really liked the proposal, and they were told to resubmit the proposal as a I use. 
Oh, okay. Proposal. Okay. So I, I'm going to try and get more information about it and okay. see. Uh, because I think that would be a really interesting. St I mean, it's basically a research yeah. study that they're doing, and I wonder if our developmental math has enough outcomes already that they might want to study that. I think it would be um, great because I'm understanding there are some task forces working on developmental math and math outcomes in general, and we do have that NSF-funded. Um, program in math over at Aurora that I I got uh, about a year and a half ago that is going into its second year. So we do have some good information on math. Okay. And, and that would be great, but I would be very, very interested in seeing what they think they're doing and with whom they believe they're working. Well, uh, when you come for to visit us here at Front Range, maybe I can arrange for them to talk to us then? Perfect. I would like that very, very much. Uh, All right. I will, if you could do that and let me know when they could be available, uh, I, would, I would make an every effort to be there that day as long as it's after May 1st. Oh, I'm thinking more June, but yeah. Perfect. All right. Perfect. No, perfect. That would be great. I appreciate that. Um, what else have we got happening? Not much. We're resting. That sounds good to me. Um, I, don't know. I have nothing else. I will post all of this uh, in base camp or Mary will because she has it. Uh, but we will do that for you and make sure that uh, we have everything we need. And if you have questions, please let me know. I am here, and uh, after, after tomorrow, we'll be pretty much back to business as usual because we'll have this uh, draft completed. So I think we're good. Uh, I think we're good. I don't know. Pretty busy. Any other questions that any of you have? Okay, let me know if there's something I can do. Um, going to have Marsha stay on, or maybe I'll just call Marsha. Are we going to talk about registered apprentices today or, or not? Yeah, well, is, was Janelle going to join us on that part? I thought, but if she's not on this call, David, what can you tell us about Janelle? Is she sequestered? Uh, she's in her office. I can uh, let her know that that's going to happen. Would you please, because uh, we had wanted to use part of this call uh, just for that, for the schools that are in that, and if that would work great, and if she's not, we'll schedule another time. Could you check? Uh, yep. Yeah. Would you like her just to call into this number, or are you going to do a conference call? Yeah, we. Can. if she calls in here, this is great, because we're here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Too much fun. Go have some more. Bye. Bye. Bye.